Hi, hello, hey everyone. Okay, in this video, we are going to talk about um, the ballistic pendulum. Okay, and the ballistic ballistic pendulum. This is this is the final part of the collision. Okay, and we will use this. We will use this ballistic pendulum. To introduce something called in in elastic collision. Okay, before we are talking about elastic collision for ballistic pendulum, this is a very good example for in elastic in in elastic collision. Okay, so the the device of ballistic pendulum is very simple. Okay, so suppose you have pendulum here, and you know, at rest. Okay, and the mass is a maybe is a rope. Maybe the rope or, or rod attached to the mass mass M, okay, and and here here you you have a, maybe as a bullet with a mass is small M, and carry a velocity, and this bullet will strike into strike into the cap the mass capital M, and then and then this object after the bullet strike into. Uh, the, ca the capital M and and they will carry a velocity and this and then the whole system will move up okay swing up to a certain position okay this is a very simple uh, uh device okay and the ballistic pendulum can measure by measuring h here yeah I, I should point out this by measuring h small h here okay by measuring small h. By measuring the height h, we can we can back calculate the velocity velocity of the bullet. Okay, we can back calculate the velocity of the bullet. So this device can be used to determine the velocity of the in, in, incoming bullet. Okay, even if a very high speed for high speed bullet. Okay, and this is a very good example for inelastic collision. So we separate this problem for separate parts for well, different parts. Okay, so first of all, and the question I'm asking is, what is the velocity of the pendulum at the moment when M strikes into M, into capital M? Yeah, the, as the A, the A question is just to calculate the velocity when the on the when the bullet strike into strike into the strike into the capital M. Just the moment when the the bullet strike into the capital M. Okay, so. So the whole system is isolated. There is no external force in the system. Okay, so in so then, so that being said, well, we can use first of all, we can use the system is isolated. So in system isolate, you can you should uh, you should come up with the idea it momentum conservation, momentum conservation, momentum conservation. Okay, and what is the momentum conservation? Uh, your total momentum before is equal to a total momentum uh, after. Okay, after collision and before collision, after collision. Okay, so we can we can think we can treat uh, when when the, the bullet strike into the capital M. We can treat treat this as a a, a collision. Okay. So the total momentum between uh, before collision after collision is the same. Okay, so what's the total momentum? What's the total momentum be before before the collision? Okay, because initially, yeah, the the bullet carry velocity v, and this capital M is at rest. So the capital M he doesn't have the it doesn't have the velocity. So yeah, so it's. Velocity is zero. Okay, so, uh, the momentum before the collision is just a uh, small m times v. Okay, okay, and what's what's the mo total momentum when after when the, at the moment when the uh when the ball is struck into the capital M. Okay, so when the when the ball is struck into capital M, the mass the total mass is become m plus m capital M. And the velocity, yeah, I don't know. Okay, I don't know. Okay, so I give it give a name called v prime, and okay, and with the, and for momentum conservation, m v equal to m plus m v prime. Okay, so it's very simple, right? 
very simple. The B prime is m plus m and b. Okay, that's the uh, that's the answer for first problem. Okay, so and the second problem is comparing the kinetic energy before and after m strike into m. Okay, so yeah, he got on to you compare before the bullet strike into the capital M. What's the, the kinetic energy? Total kinetic energy, and at the moment when the M strike into the capital M, what's like what's the kinetic energy? So basically, you just want to use use compare, calculate the K and K prime. Okay, before collision and after collision. Okay, before the collision, yeah, because the capital M is at rest initially, and only this object, small m, has carried the velocity. So the total the total kinetic energy before the collision is just a one over two mv squared. Okay, and what's and what's the kinetic energy when the bullets rise strike into the capital M? Yeah, we we only care about right at the moment when the Bullet strike into the capital M. Okay, and right now we we want we don't consider the swing up process. Okay, right now we don't consider swing up process. We only right now we only take care take care take care is when the bullet strike into the capital M. Yeah, the moment when the bullet strike into capital M. Okay, so what's the after collision? What's the kinetic energy? Yeah, the kinetic energy is one over two. And after m strike into the capital M, the total the mass becomes m plus m, right? And we just get a velocity. Yeah, we just get a velocity after the collision. Yeah. So, oh, after collision, so the velocity is v prime squared. So we can, so we can just uh, one over two m plus m and times. M plus M M V square. So what's the answer is? Yeah, it's the divide this so one over two. It's M plus M M square V square. Okay, that's the total kinetic energy just right after the collision. And okay, that's a very interesting question. Okay, let's see. Uh, is kinetic energy uh, before and after are uh, equal? K equal K prime. K equal to K prime. Okay, let's see. Hmm. Okay, let's do a little trick on the K. Okay, this is the kinetic energy before the collision. Mv square. Okay, so we make a trick. We just uh, mm, just multiply. M plus M, M plus M together, M V squared. So we will have, uh, we will we will have, uh, okay, we will have one over two M plus M, M M V squared plus, oh, hmm. Uh, to make a better expression, okay. So, okay, it's m m plus m square v square. So we will have one over two m plus m m m v square plus one over two m plus m m square v square. Okay, so we just compare the kinetic energy before and after collision. We will find that because m and small m and capital M, they both are positive values, and v squared is over positive value. So when you you can compare these two terms, so compare these two terms. Okay, okay, this is the, this is the same. Okay, red one is the same, but uh, the but we have extra term in the kinetic in, in, in for the initial kinetic energy. So by this comparison, it is obviously obviously we can get the conclusion that k prime just the kinetic energy uh, the kinetic energy after collision is smaller than kinetic energy before the collision. So that means we have the kinetic energy loss. Kinetic energy loss 
And during a collision, if you have a kinetic energy loss, we will, we will give it a name. It's called inelastic collision. Yeah, that's the most difference, the, the, the basic difference between the elastic collision and inelastic collision. In elastic collision, your kinetic energy before and after collision will, will have difference. In elastic collision, your, your, in, uh, your kinetic energy after collision is smaller than your initial kinetic, kinetic energy before the collision. So you have kinetic energy loss during the inelastic collision. Okay, so that's the definition for the inelastic collision. You have the kinetic energy loss. Okay, so so when the object strike into the another object, it's it, it's elastic collision. Okay, and the C part. Okay, the C problem. So find out the relationship between the the the, the height h and the incoming velocity of the bullet. And this and this we will demonstrate this um, demonstrate this in the next video. Okay, so in this video, I just show you the ballistic pendulum. Uh, it's a uh, it's a very good example for inelastic collision because it has the lost kinetic energy after the collision. So I just show you why and do the some calculation and show you it's really lost the kinetic energy. The kinetic energy is really lost. Okay, really lost. Okay, so okay here is the video. I will start video here and I will demonstrate the next problem in the next video. Okay, see you next video. Bye bye. Yeah. Uh -huh.